I feel too that my life is, is one of, of deep devotion to spirit and following spirit and so that's really the aim of we could say spiritual practice is to be in the flow of presence and to be in that you might say listen follow just to be tuned in uh, to spirit and uh, in my life I used A Course in Miracles uh, I think it's been about it's about 30 years now uh, that the Course has come into my life and there's a, a line from A Course in Miracles that says when you have learned to decide with God, all decisions become as easy and as right as breathing. And it will be as if you are carried down a quiet path in summer. So here we are, we're gathering here at this beautiful center in Columbine Center and we're here to experience the ease of decision making. Because in this world there are times when decision making can seem to be quite complex. Where we come to points where it seems to be difficult to make a decision. And yet, I would say that the Spirit is always with us, helping us unwind from a faulty perception of the world, a distorted perception of fragmentation and coming into just the intuitive flow of our heart. And just being able to ride that like, like a feather on the breeze, just floating and floating and floating. And that really is the destiny for your life, is to be in presence and to just float on the breeze. And to come to a place where there are no difficult decisions where the Spirit is so guiding you, the Spirit is so out in front of you that you don't have any hesitation or doubt, but just a sense of relaxation and ease. So for me, that's what I say the parable of David is about because um, even though it's been about three decades since the Course dropped into my path, I would say that my immersion with the Course was so quick and so strong that I'd say after about two and a half or three years the signs and symbols started to be all around me and then I made contact with the, my internal teacher which was Jesus and, and basically it wasn't just kind of a, a feeling at that point uh, it, was, it was a stream of thoughts that gave me very explicit instructions. Where to go, what to do, who to see, what to drop, what to let go of. Uh, it was extremely specific and so that's part of this ease that I'm going to talk about tonight is making contact and when you have that contact and it becomes consistent, that's where the ease comes into your life. While there's still an ego part in your mind is still trying to run the show, or maybe just partly run the show. Like, God, I'll give you this, 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 but I'm in charge of this, that, that. Then that's where the struggle comes in. It's only difficult when we try to run some aspects of our life that the struggle comes in. If we were able to, as they say, let go and let God completely, then the struggle is gone. What does that mean? It means it's happiness, it's joy, it's freedom, but it's a state of mind.